It's Saturday, November 20th, 2021. Now, I'm watching this commercial. Life's too short for sensitive teeth. And then it goes into a man who goes to a car show on the commercial. He gets a test that they're just testing the blood in the public at a car show. Turns out he has something called a PSA. Again, humans don't know these things. They trust other humans that they think know what whoever made up this PSA to relate it to something that's broken between the environment, the system, and the human in some relationship in this area. So then he goes to more doctors, to this doctor center, which is like a privately funded NIH center, and then they give him a cyber knife. I got a cyber knife yesterday. I was walking through the kitchen. All of a sudden, side of my face, a crack of electricity went zzz, and just zipped my face. That's the cyber knife that I know about. This is a different cyber knife. And then it goes into a commercial about Caesar and his queen, supposedly, in some new... I don't know if they're telling it just a different way, but this is what the humans have come up with in New York State that really concern me while I'm being harmed and my health is under duress and stress. Cancer story begins at a car show where he took a PSA test. The high PSA result led to further tests that showed Mike had prostate cancer. Tests. More tests. Cancer Center on Long Island. I looked into everything. Now someone's making money. Mike felt so good after his last treatment, he went straight out, bought his dream car, and put prostate cancer in the rear view mirror. Does anybody find out how to eliminate it from ever oh, occurring? The pilgrims love ass. Pilgrims wore big, goofy hats with buckles on the side. One pilgrim would say, I'll bet you two buckles that Zebediah could beat Elijah in a foot race. You sure about that, Caesar? Oh, yeah. Zebediah Hopkins. Fast as lightning. Yeah, I'm a bit of a history buff. I don't think that's true. Pilgrims enjoyed betting, which is why the holiday season is such a festive time for the sports betting public. Just car with Turkey Caesar. Oh, yes, my queen. And, and you're Cooper, right? I am. You look fabulous tonight. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. And this is a good place to shop for a Chevy, too. Whether you want to shop online and take delivery at home from a participating dealer or just have a dependable um, place to get service, discover the I went to, to a shop comedy online. show Find last Find night. Find there was a gentleman who, um, his name was Andy, but then he said he was, you, I could remember it by Jack and Jill, which I thought was interesting. He had some sweatshirt, USMC or Cross. I don't know when he said that what it means. Um, there was a, it was, um, there's two comedians um, at the local Monahans that um, Rick Allen had invited me again. And then a gentleman who used to work for David Letterman, um, who was also really funny. He said a whole bunch of things though I couldn't follow. I was not, I didn't connect with what he was saying. He was at a different English level than I was. Um, but before I went upstairs, um, to where the theater is, I was downstairs, um, and listening f to two songs from the band. There were two gentlemen that, I don't know if they seemed uncomfortable or whatever, but one made a, a um, sign language that looked like this, and then looked like this, and then looked like this, like they were shooting a basketball. And I'm thinking to myself, now that's interesting. I didn't say anything to them. Um, I know that I went to Dr. Romanelli, um, and I had a partial scar removal of the original scars. I mean, there's still a little bit of it there. Uh, but I had what's called a mommy makeover or a tummy tuck just because I felt so horrible about the way that my scarred body looked. And I just, it, it was painful. And when they sewed the inner um, stomach muscles together, I was able to work out. I was able to breathe better because it was no longer um, in some kind of, um, I don't know, it worked. It just worked better for the rectus abdominis muscles um, after they did an inner corset suture. Um, but when they did that, they removed a portion of the scars because I had a lot of extra 
like um, elastic skin that had lost its ability to recoil. So they removed it. Um, so I don't know on that last where they threw me into an ambulance and took me to a local hospital to do a body assessment if that came up and they're trying to say now that I'm not the one where, that had the tiger claws. No, I certainly am. I just had to have surgery for other stuff and part of the scars were removed during that surgery. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Caterusa. It is November 20th, 2021. Um, it is just, um, it is really horrible to live in this time. My knee joints are popping. It hurts to place my feet down. I have to be careful because it's like a, it's like sitting in an electric chair all the time through the air because the air has unconditioned electric that seems to be pulling in and I seem to be conducting it somehow in a really painful manner. Um, and I'm in an area in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, New York State in general, uses a preventative medicine. Well, why didn't you prevent me from being harmed if we're in a preventative medicine state? If you had advanced knowledge and you use that advanced knowledge and advanced timing in order to cause this, that is a really tremendous problem for at so many levels of humanity. And that's where I feel I am at the moment. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Caterusa.